a right circular cylinder is inscribed in a sphere, which in turn is inscribed in a right circular cone. The radius of the sphere and the height of the cone are both equal to r, while the height of the cone is equal to 3r. Suppose v1, v2, and v3 are the volumes of the cylinder, the sphere, and the cone respectively. Find the volume ratio. Recall the formula of volume of a sphere v2 is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Let's look at the cylinder and the cone. Because the heights of the two shapes are given, so we're going to express their base radii in terms of r. For the calculations, let's start with the sphere and the cylinder. We take the side view. Then they look like a circle with center O and a rectangle A, B, C, D. Clearly, OA is equal to the radius of the sphere. We let E be the midpoint of AB, so that AE is the base radius of the cylinder. Now, we construct OE. Because O is the center of the rectangle, and E is the midpoint of side AB, so OE is perpendicular to AB. Moreover, by properties of rectangle, OE is equal to 1 over 2 times the height AD, which is equal to R over 2. Therefore, in the right-angled triangle, we have AE square plus bracket R over 2 whole square is equal to R square because of Pythagoras theorem. It gives AE square is equal to 3R square over 4. We don't have to take square roots here as you will see that in a second. Now, the volume of the cylinder V1 is equal to pi times radius AE square times the height AD. We substitute AE square equals to 3R square over 4 and AD equals to R. Then the volume is equal to 3 over 4 pi R cubed. Now, we have V1 and V2. Let's work out the volume of cone V3. At this moment, we consider the cone and the sphere. Take the side view again. The cone is represented by the isosceles triangle FGH. We let the points I, J, and K as the three points of contact. Let's construct the two sides FOJ and OI. Clearly, FG and GH are tangents to the circle. So, by tangent perpendicular to radius, we have 90 degrees at the points I and J. This gives us two right-angled triangles. What else do we know about? Here, OI and OJ are both equal to the radius of the sphere. Because the height of the cone is 3R, so the green side OF is equal to 2R. We have to figure out the base radius of the cone, which is the red side GJ. Let the length be capital letter R. It comes to the key point of this part, which is the angle theta. Do we know how large it is? Definitely. Let's consider the green triangle. Here, sine theta is equal to R over 2R, which is equal to 1 over 2. So theta is equal to 30 degrees. Now, we look at the larger red triangle. Capital R over 3R is equal to tangent 30 degrees. This is equal to square root 3 over 3. Cancel out 3 on both sides. We have capital R is equal to small r times square root 3. Great, everything is ready. The volume of the cone is equal to 1 over 3 pi times base radius capital R square times the height 3 times small letter r. Cross out the 3 right here, then we put capital R equals to small r times square 3. So the volume is equal to 3 pi r cubed. Then we can combine the 3 results together. The volume ratio is equal to 3 over 4 pi r cubed to 4 over 3 pi r cubed to 3 pi r cubed. We can cancel out pi r cubed for all the 3 terms. To get rid of the fractions, we multiply each term by 12. After simplification, we get the required ratio. It is equal to 9 to 16 to 36. It's actually easier than you might think of. Still want to see more interesting problem of geometry? Go check out the next video on the screen. I will see you there.